Hey what's up guys, today I'm going to teach you how to perform the twisting aces. As a name as the name suggests, I need the four aces and I'll just pick them out right here, the ace of spades, the hearts, the diamonds, and the clubs should be right there. So obviously I'm only using four cards. I'm not using any duplicates as you can see. See how they are there are only four cards, all different. That's very important. Okay? Now I'm going to do something interesting, I guess. Um, what I would be do what I'll be doing is that um, I'll be turning cards in a different way. Typically what you would do is you would actually turn the cards like so. Right, but um, to make it a lot more interesting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn an ace by giving a twist. See how? Okay, so all the cards are facing down, but if I give it, give the packet a little twist like this. Now watch. There should be one card that's facing up right now, and that's the ace of diamonds. Without doing anything, if I give the packet another turn like this, remember how the ace of diamonds is a card that was facing up? Now it's the ace of clubs. See? Now, you've seen two cards torn over this, which were, um, they were the Ace of Diamonds and the Clubs, meaning I have the Hearts and the Spades. Now, give it another twist like this, and if I did it correctly, there is the Hearts, boys and girls, right there. And then, the very last card, the Ace of Spades, is the hardest card to find, or hardest card to turn, because I guess Ace of Spades is quite special. Now if I give it a spin like this, two, three, four, it doesn't really work because I have to give it two twists or two spins like that and there we go, ace of spades, while the other cards are all facing down. Let's see how it's done. Sorry about that long performance, but I'm telling you this trick is worth it, so you need to know the you actually need to know only one sleight of hand, which is the Elmsies count, which looks like this. Let's say you have a facing down card right here. If you just do that, you actually don't see the face down card. See? So that's what it is. Now, you need you do need a setup because the ending is kind of special. You need the ace of spades to be at a specific position. If you are holding it like this, it should be the second from the top right here, the ace of spades, and you kind of generally want to um, change, um, inter interweave the black cards and the red cards. So clubs, red, spades, red. That's the position you want it to be. Now from here, you're going to flip all the cards over, four cards. This is the ace of spades right here. I mean, no, this one is right here. Sorry about that. I totally forgot that I turned the cards over. So that's the ace of spades, third from the top. Now from here, you're going to do a triple lift. You're going to explain what I did in my performance and the triple lift like so. So all three cards are facing up while one card is facing down. From here, you're going to do a wrist kill. Use your middle finger or index finger to slide one card out, which is the ace of spades, and then turn it over and slide it back in. Now, and then you do the, undo the wrist kill. And if you have done it right, you should have two cards, two aces facing up in the middle. Okay, so from here, you're going to perform the MZ's count. So you're going to hold it in this position where your middle finger and your thumb is at the very top in the middle of the packet. You're going to give one twist and just do the MZ's count, which will, looks like that. Okay, that's the only thing that you have to do and explain how they just saw the ace of diamonds. And then from here, you're going to twist once more again and simply show that it changed the change the ace of clubs. Now for the second MC's count, you're going to take the last card and put it at the very bottom. Okay? So now if you've done everything correctly, you should have you should be in this position where the ace of diamonds and the clubs or one red card and one black card is facing up and they're interweaving with the cards that are facing down. From here, you're going to do another triple lift. I know you have explained that you will be turning cards by twisting the cards, but if you just do a quick one like that, they're not really going to notice, okay? They'll think you just forgot to twist the cards. Now, you're going to explain how they saw two cards, and if you've been following me correctly, this is the position you should be in, two facing down, 
one facing up, second from the top, one facing down. And the ace of spades should be at the very bottom like that. Now from here, you're going to do the Emily's count again, which will show the ace of hearts. And you have to do, you have to follow me very carefully. You're going to put the card, top card on the top and to take the very, card, very last card and put it at the very bottom again, like what you have done just now. So if you have done everything correctly, Ace of Hearts should be third from second from the top. Ace of Spades should be right here. Okay, and these two it doesn't really matter. From here, you're going to um, fan the cards out like this. Take the Ace of Hearts, put it right here at the very top, and then you're going to, in the process of squaring up, you're going to catch a pinky break on the top two cards, like this. Okay, and from here you're going to take the top two cards and flip the bottom two cards using the packet on your right hand like this. See how, oh, sorry. See how I'm, I'm trying to go slow. So see how I'm flipping the, the card, the packets, the packets like this, and then you're simply going to drop it down like so. Now, if you have done everything correctly, you should see two cards facing up, one card facing down, which is the ace of spades, one card facing up at the very top. From here, obviously you're not gonna show that. You're going to turn the cards over like this, meaning the ace of spades should be third from the top. Again, you're going to explain how ace of spades is the hardest card to find. Hold it in this grip again, twist, and do the LMC's count. See how it, I didn't flash that time, that's pretty good, and then ace of spades is not there. If you've done the LMC's count correctly, ace of spades should be at the very bottom. From here, you have a choice. I guess you can just count the cards like this, but don't do that. Um, do another MZ's count. Just do on a, a twist and another, another twist. Say it's a special card, so it requires two twists. And do uh, the same thing you've been doing, the MZ's count, and show how Ace of Spades is the only card that's facing up after giving it a twist. And you can turn the cards over like this. And by the way, it's an impromptu trick, I guess, because you can use any any deck of cards you want and there are no preparation except setting the order of the aces. Just remember that the ace of spades should be second from your right, right, right hand side or second from the top so that if you do a triple lift, Ace of, spades, Ace of Spades is the first card you see. Okay, so that's the tutorial, guys. Tell me, comment below how you thought about that, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.